bells ring. Are you listening? In the lane, snow is glistening. A beautiful sight. We're happy tonight. We're walking in a winter wonderland. And go on away. Is the bluebird, but here to stay, stay, stay is a new bird. He sings a love song as we go along. We're walking in a winter wonderland. Good evening. This is Caroline Ignacio reporting live from Milano Country Club in Chino Hills, where we are hosting the annual People's Care Christmas Party. Winter Wonderland is where we're at, and I'd like to introduce People's Care CEO Michael Kaiser. How are you doing, Mike? I'm doing great. Once again, another amazing festivity. But with your staff. I know you absolutely love doing stuff like this for them because you do have amazing staff, don't you? You know, I have the best staff in the world and I, uh, I just have to give props out to uh, Lewis who put this all together. Yes, and, Lewis, uh, not this, to be this done. Was, this, was, this was an incredible piece of really outdone himself here tonight. Well, People's Care has been growing and growing and I know you've had extraordinary expansion. Can you tell me a little bit more about the expansion of People's Care and where it's going? Well, let's see. We've got a lot going on here. Um, we've been, we're expanding deep into uh, Central Valley this year. We've got uh, we've got a lot of programs opening up. We acquired a home health and a hospice agency. I heard about that. Benefrance Home Health, which with the way, way medical is going and healthcare in general, owning a home health should be very profitable as well as a very good uh, addition to your organization. Well, it's true. You know, I, I saw the writing on the wall with Obamacare coming down the pike and I, I started to think that um, with uh, expanding uh, insurance services for every American, the likelihood that uh, home health services would, would uh, grow. Uh, as well as hospice, great. right? As well as hospice would, would be great. And I thought that that would be a nice addition to the to the people's care um, uh, portfolio, if you will. So let me just make sure I understand completely. Under the umbrella of people's care, you obviously have your main, which is the developmentally disabled, with the residential homes and the day program. You also have autism services. Now with Benefrance Home Health and hospice. Am I missing something? What else? Well, we have adult daycare centers. Adult we have daycare. a bunch of adult daycare centers. We have uh, personal assistance programs, community integration and training programs. We have um, autism therapy programs, residential care facilities, um, both for children, adults, and now for the elderly. And um, and now uh, home health and hospice. So we've got a you know a, a wide variety of, of you know, and a wide breadth of services. Here. Pretty much covering from A to Z as much as Seems possible. Like it. Seems like it. So last question of the evening, because I don't want to hold you up. You are the man of the hour. Um, what is your vision going into 2013? What is your vision for people's care and what's going to happen for the new year? Well, I'm hoping that we can continue to touch as many lives as we can. You know, one of the big uh, things that I'm pushing at people's care is that I, you know, I really believe that we do the best at what we do. And, um, and one of the reasons why I, I feel so compelled to grow is that I like the idea that we are able to push our services out to as many people as, as we can. I often say that I believe that every uh, client or patient deserves to be served uh, in a people's care facility or program. And, um, and so I believe that 2013 might be the year that we break 1,000 clients served per month. I don't know if it will be 2013, but that's a goal of ours right now that we're looking at, trying to serve, you know, having a positive effect on the lives of, of, uh, of 1,000 people uh, per month would be a, a big milestone for people's care. So we're working on that. We may hit it in 2013. We'll see. Maybe it'll be 2014. We'll see how things go. 2013, 2014, I do not doubt it will not happen sooner than later, especially with the type of staff you hire, the program you run, and basically just overall being a CEO with a huge heart. Even though you have a huge company, your heart is bigger. So thank you thank so you. much for your time. Thank you, Caroline. Thank you.